Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to Slate. This is me Khwaja Yaseen. Let's study chemistry. In the last video we talked about videos we talked about ionic compounds and covalent compounds including giant covalent compounds as well. Lastly, we will just talk about metallic bonding. This is a very short topic. If we have to define metallic bonding, this is the bond between positively charged cations and C of delocalized electrons. Positively charged cations and C of delocalized electrons. Unlike ionic and covalent bonding, this is not between two different elements. This is just a bonding inside a metal. It is inside a metal. These are not two different, not two different metals will come together. When two different metals come together, they do not make a bond. They make a mixture. Two different metals do not make a bond. But a mixture and that mixture is called alloy which we will study in the topic in the video of metals but now let's talk about metallic bonding the bond between positively charged cations obviously and C of delocalized or free moving electrons let's see what's happening here in the exam they will ask you to draw the metallic bonding and explain it it has various properties. We will discuss all the properties. But let's talk about sodium first. For example, students, these are sodium atoms staying together, just sodium atoms. So you can make a metallic bond like this. You can make, okay, you can just make three layers as well. That makes, makes it more suitable. So this is sodium atom. Sodium atoms joined together. But metals are very reactive. They are dying to give away one electron, right? So all these sodiums will give away one electron. So electron, 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 electron. Every sodium has given out one electron and has become sodium cation. So students, these are all cations. And let's look at the definition again. The bond between positively charged cations and the C of delocalized electrons. So this sodium will have its bonding between, bond will be bonded to this electron, this electron, this, this, this. So every sodium cation will be bonded to all the electrons, just like the Spider-Man movie. The way he stopped the train, web, 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 so many webs are going. And that's how he stopped the, the train because its bond was stronger with the buildings. That's what metallic bond is. Stronger with all the electrons. So every cation, is bonded with all the electrons. So this sodium will be bonded with this, 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 this. All electrons are bonded. So that's how sodium metals look like. If you have to make a diagram, never make these webs that I have made. That you, you never need to make them. All you need to do is just make this form where there are sodium cations and free electrons so students that's the diagram that you need to make in the exam and that is how you define the properties of metallic bonds for instance let's talk about another 
metal for let's talk let's say aluminum so aluminum will lose 3 electrons so all of these will be plus 3 you can write them this way as well or that way you can even write it this way as well this is also allowed So these are the cations. But how many electrons will one aluminum lose? One aluminum will lose three electrons each. So a better C of electrons, more delocalized, right? So students, that's what we know. They just have C of delocalized electrons. And the bonds will be increased as well, obviously. So which will be a better metal? Aluminum. Because more bonds are involved, right? Just look at these bonds. More Spider-Man webs. Better bonding. So aluminum is a harder metal than that of sodium. That's it. This is the bonding that we talk about. We will just talk about the properties and understand it through these di diagrams. Properties. Metals are conductors of electricity both in solid and molten form. Why? Why? Now the reason. Reason? C of Delocalized, by delocalized we mean free electrons. Easy, you can see so many electrons, hence they can conduct electricity. And graphite could conduct electricity because of free electron, that one. Now the other property. High melting and boiling point. Why? Because Strong metallic bonding between cation and C of delocalized electrons. Now, which will have more high melting, boil, melting and boiling point? Will it be sodium or aluminum? So look at the sea of electrons that sodium has. One electron is given by each. And aluminum is giving out three electrons. So obviously, aluminum will have a higher melting and boiling point because it has a stronger metallic bonding. So these are basic properties, but two, two very different and important properties. They are malleable. and ductile. Metals are malleable and ductile. What do we mean by that? By malleable we mean we can hammer them into different shapes. By malleable we mean they are not brittle. So brittle means like glass, if you try to put pressure on glass, if you try, if you apply force on glass, glass, it breaks into pieces. But metals on the other hand, there is elasticity, they curve, they do not break. You can bend a metal rod, they can be hammered or bent into different shapes. Now, why is that so? So look at this structure. For instance, they will not ask you to make the diagrams. But let's say if I try to break these one away from the whole sodium. I have curved it this way. 
now the sodium has come here so obviously the bond between the sodium and these electrons have been broken because they were bonded to the above electrons but what about the other electrons they are still bonded to so many other electrons so they are malleable because they have strong metallic bonding reason strong metallic bonding you break the bond between a cation and a few electrons but there is a sea of electrons you cannot break the bonds with all of them so that's just malleability what is ductility can be made into wires why is that so because of layered structure because of layered structure so if i apply force from here for example if i apply force from here this has a layered structure so by layer we see i can move it this way the bonds are still not broken and it's being moved away this is because of the layered structure so these are the four properties of metallic bonds or metal metals that you need to remember remember they are not between atoms they are between inside a metal and another important question that you see in the exam is regarding the electrical conductivities of all four they can give you various examples so these are four examples now let's see do they this is their electrical conduction your conductivity solid molten molten slash aqueous hcl is an acid acid as a solid will never conduct electricity this is not a part although hcl is acids are covalent compounds but they have a specific property they ionize in water when they ionize in water they have ions and when they have ions they can conduct electricity in aqueous form i will write acid here acids can not other covalent compounds so water is a co pure covalent compound can it conduct electricity in solid no molten or aqueous not at all let's not talk about water because water has a different distinct property let's call it carbon dioxide that's make that makes it easier because water also ionizes by the way but they would never ask you about water sodium it's a metal it will conduct in both solid and molten form it's a metal it will conduct that's what we know about it's a metal will conduct electricity anyway lastly sodium chloride it's an ionic compound and in the solid form no conduction and in the liquid form molten or aqueous it has ions so conduction so i would just wrap it up there that acids acids conduct in solid form but they do not conduct in solid form but in molten or aqueous form covalent compounds neither in solid nor in aqueous exception is graphite metals and ionic compound lastly in the case of acids this conduction is because of ions in the case of graphite 
it's because of electrons in the case of metals it's because of electrons and in the case of ionic compounds it's because of ions so even the electrical conductivity can also vary so that's all for today's lecture that's all for this chapter we have discussed how the questions will come in the past paper and we will be solving many past paper topical questions so thank you so much for being here with me laughs